three qualities that you learn from ncc which would help you as a civil servant in future sir one thing i realized that uh, how to respect the diversity means in annual training camps and other camps uh, p cadets from all over rajasthan and india coming and uh, they have their own set of requirements thought process and uh, uh, way of living so that we can uh, i learned how to respect that and how to have a co living so that one uh, that was one and sir second is there i learned about discipline discipline means sir in in drilling or etc you can't be late just by 5 minutes or 2 minutes you have to be there on time because they are taking huge responsibility so that discipline and this responsibility was there and third sir i learned about leadership leadership means sir uh, if i have given a responsibility of doing something that i then i should take responsibility of all my team member if any team member is not performing well or uh, not doing up to the mark then i should have courage and will to make him or her correct and take the responsibility of his or her failure on my shoulder so that leadership is like see I, what is the unique feature of the structure of iit bombay as you are a structural engineer i would like to know any unique features in the structure of iit bombay buildings <clears throat> sir one iit bombay's topography is very varied means on one side we can see hill which has huge elevation and on second side we can say lake which is in depression so and if we travel on road inside iit then we can see these ups and downs so topography is very varied and so according to that structures or buildings are also uh, unique uh, for example sir high rise building of 10 stories are there in hostel and they are uh, they are built such that that the uses of energy is minimum means proper ventilation proper uh, lighting etc are maintained and sir one is that uh, every hostel has uh, sea sea side face or lake side face so students can enjoy proximity to nature mathematics is ops uh, is our optional see earlier india used to produce number of mathematicians right see we have great mathematicians like srinivas raman and now even iits are also not able to produce a qualified phd papers in mathematics what could be the reason for that what do you think about this sir there are multiple reasons sir one sir people have perception that mathematics doesn't have direct application in industry like uh, sir uh, in mathematics what researcher do they they try to have a theorem and then prove it and based on that application part comes but sir it is a very long process and industry doesn't incentivize this research by giving enough packages or hiring mathematical researcher so that is one reason and second sir uh many iitian students who are very good in maths are going out for pursuing higher education in mathematics because they think that that there they will get more uh, opportunities in employment even in research part sir so that uh, have you heard of one product one district or one district one product yes sir so from your district which product is it sir it is in food processing sector mustard is one one product sir see conversation with the strangers it's a very strange hobby of course it is an interesting hobby also yes so how would you this hobby uh, being a civil servant how will you utilize this hobby being a civil servant or to become a successful civil servant sir first sir i don't hesitate to talk to people about uh, many things even some intimate things also 
so in civil services if i visit some place and i realize that yes uh, this is a very beautiful thing which i can also implement in my work area then i will easily talk to authority or person over here and try to get to know the idea and then can implement in my place and second sir civil servant or public servant so they need to provide services to people and so i can build a relationship or uh, uh, that connect that people can come with their problem freely and i can provide them with solution in best manner i can i could uh, in modi the host wife several women in india work in their homes they don't go out and contribute to the economy but still their contribution the work contribution is significant to every family so shall we count it in the gdp or shall we not is a question sir we shall count it because uh, that is one way of recognizing women thankless job and sir but the method of calculating it can vary it should not be it means i don't know the feasibility of uh, Uh, calculating it in monetary terms like like if we if we take the example of domestic help they are earning very less uh, in terms of wages so if we consider that parameter to calculate then it would be under calculation sir so we need to evolve some other method of evaluating but it should be included sir Yes, okay. sir. You are already an IAS officer. You walk in like an IAS officer to come out as one. Yes, sir. You are sure, walking. You are walking like an IAS officer to come out as one. Okay. Okay. Sure, sir.